You've already met the chain rule and the chain rule will always work. So if in doubt in the exam, you pick your value of u, you go through the whole process. I want to talk about a shortcut, which is completely acceptable to do in the exam. So this was the first example that we looked at in the first video. Um, I want to talk about how to quickly get from this to this without having to bother with the u's. The idea is very similar to first year differentiation. With first year differentiation, you times down by the power and then you decrease the power by one. If you look at what has happened here, the 2x plus 3, the main bit of the bracket, is still there. We've times down by the power, so power four, the power of 4 came down as a coefficient. We took one away from the power, so it's power of 3 there, but we've also got an extra factor of 2 around. The way you can think of it is you're doing three steps to it. You times down by the power, so you've got a factor of 4. You decrease the power of the whole thing by 1, so the whole thing was 2x plus 3, it used to be to the power of 4, so now it's to the power of 3. And then you times by the derivative of whatever is here. That derivative came from doing du, du dx. So, timesing by the derivative would be an extra times by 2. Putting it all together, we get the 8 at the beginning. That rule is quite useful, because it means you can do this quickly without having to do half a page of working. So we just apply it to a new one with a bit more awkward numbers. What I've done here, so one complication here is we've got this kind of like minus one up here, but that's fine. You know how to differentiate normal powers of x where they're negative. I've also put a coefficient in front here. Now, just like if you're differentiating something like three x to the minus one, well, you times down by the power, it kind of gets times to this coefficient at the beginning. Like the coefficient is just still there as a factor. It's the same true on these ones here. So, dy dx equals, um, we had a factor of 3, so that's still going to be there. We times down by the power, so we times by minus 1. I'm just going to put the minus in front like that. Um, then we times by the derivative of what's inside. Well, the inside, it just differentiates to 2. So we get an extra times by 2. And then the whole thing, 2x minus 6, is still there. And it's to the power where we take one away from the power, so that'd be minus 2. Neatening it up a bit, that's minus 6 over 2x minus 6 all squared. Just by the definition of a negative power up there. Done. I'm going to give you one to have a go at. So, if I gave you y equals 7x plus 3 all to the power of 4, try and use the normal rule to differentiate it. So not going through all the u's, just try and do it by observation. If you can do that one, here's another one for you to have a go with a coefficient at the beginning. So y equals 4, 2x minus 3 to the power of 5. You might want to pause the video, I'll go through the answer in a couple of seconds. Okay, so I haven't simplified my answers yet, um, but on this one here, the 4 came down, we times by the derivative of what was inside, which was just another factor of 7, and we decreased the power by 1. So squidging all, all of that up, we're going to get 4 times 7 is 28. So 28, 7x plus 3, all to the power of 3. Done. On the other one, pretty much the same thing going on. Uh, we had the 4 at the beginning, that's still there. We've times by the derivative of what's inside, which was a 2. We times by the power, which is a 5. Then we've got the main thing, and we decrease the power by 1. Squishing all together, at the beginning, well, 2 times 5 is 10, times by 4 is 40. So it's 40, 2x minus 3 to the power of 4. Done. A word of warning here. When you're doing this by observation, this is completely fine and you can do it in the exam. If you have something which looks complicated, it's safer to go with the whole pick u equals something and go through the whole process. So even doubt, that's your normal method. This is useful for when you have to do something quickly. And you, you've seen lots like this, you will have done, and so they, you can get there 